Hello, everybody. I'm Delwyn Graham of Graham Wealth Partners, which is part of CG Wealth Management. Today, I'd like to talk a bit about three relatively obscure banks in the United States. Uh, they've been dubbed the S banks. They are Silvergate, SVB, and Signature. Um, they're pretty obscure because they focus on very, very specific areas of the economy. SVP focuses on tech startups, whereas Signature and, and uh, Silvergate focus on the crypto industry. Now, in this case, obviously, because they're so specific, they're not like JP Morgan, they're not like the Royal Bank, but I think that they have significance for us because the government has stepped in, well, they've been, shut them down, shut down two of them, one has basically voluntarily shut themselves down. And I think this is, cause, this is an indication of growing strain in the banking sector and in the financial system. And I think that's coming from, well, I'm pretty sure it's coming from rising interest rates. What we have now is a inflationary-based recession. And that basically means that we have inflation. Governments are fighting inflation by increasing interest rates. And Increasing interest rates, the idea is to make things more extensive to buy, to reduce the amount of capital available, and reduce growth. The hope is that we have basically a, 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 a you have a soft landing, as they call it, which is reducing the inflation without killing the economy, without causing it to go into a major contraction. When that happens, an inflationary recession turns into a, into a, a debt recession. So what happens, interest rates continue to go up, and then all of a sudden, companies, individuals have a very difficult time paying off their loans. And so then loans are being recalled, credit is being tightened up, and we're moving into a contraction of the economy, we're moving into a major recession, like they had in 2008, 2009. Now we're not there yet. In fact, the government is very adamant we do, they don't want to go there, as nobody wants to go there. So they have stepped in and that backstop those three S banks, but it's a possibility, particularly because we still are in a high interest rate environment, and and we're still around six percent. The government is looking for a target of bringing that down to two percent, so that's still a long ways to go. And I still think that there will be quite a few rate hikes going on, so that the, the system will be pressurized further. And uh, now, of course. We're keeping an eye on this, and particularly because if what we have right now, which I, I, I call an inflationary-based recession, turns into a, a debt-based recession, the lows that were in early 2020 are going to be revisited in 2023, and nobody wants that. So we'll keep you in the loop. I've written actually I've written a blog about this, so I I. I welcome you to take a look at the blog. I also welcome you to give me a call or drop me a line to discuss this further. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.